Funko Monsters, it's me, the Funko Monster. I'm rocking out the Batman gear. Let me just put this here. I'm rocking out the Batman gear. Um, this week is Batman week, but I do not have any uh, Batman related pops. I only have two, which I'm hoping to review this week. So, um, today I'm going to be start making a new series, uh, move, Funko Movie Mondays. Uh, maybe I might add Mayhem, I'm not sure. But I want to keep it simple, and yeah. So, today on the first edition of Funko Movie Monday, um, you might already know from the title, but we're going to be taking a look at Alien from the movie Alien. I'm not, I wasn't sure if it was Aliens, plural, but... Uh, I got it for 15 bucks at my Boston Comic Con, so... I'm gonna try to take this sticker off. I don't wanna leave any. Uh, now, Aliens has, Alien has got to be one of my favorite movie of all times, but uh, on the front of the box, you can see the Xenomorph, uh, number 30 in the pop movie lines. On the side of the box, a really nice background, you can see the uh, universe there and a bunch of eggs, which I think is wicked cool, but not as cool as the back. Um, still has the eggs, and you can see the xenomorph all drooling. Um, so I have nothing to compare this to, sadly. Um, I wish I had um, Predator with me right now, but this is going to have to do. Anyways, let's get this guy up. I was gonna go like this and then like bring it back out, but let me just open it in front of you guys. And uh, don't bother trying to copy this card. There's only a couple bucks on it. Oh, it opens up easily. I think it's because I have opened it before because it's so awesome. Um, I'm not sure who I like better, uh, aliens or. Um, predator, but uh, leave, put your thoughts in the comment sec the comment section below. Uh, let me just take a quick look at him. Oh my god, he's so amazing. Um, he, he, I mean, he's he's pretty solid considering there's only like uh, a few different colors. But, I mean, there's a bunch of silver on him. You can see. Okay, let's put this down like this. There's a bunch of silver on him right here, you can see. But they're all different colors. And I really like that. I uh, had articulation, obviously, but he's got this really nice silver. It's, you can kind of see reflections off it. You can see my lighting. Um, he's got his teeth. Right here, and then the, his little tongue. Is it a tongue? I don't know. But, um, you can see all these, like, the sculpting on the body. It's just a really phenomenal pop. I'm going to kick my hat off in my pen. Um, you can see all the, the, uh, what are they called? <laughs> I forget. Um. Scales, I guess. Yeah, I guess I would call it scales. You can see all of the little uh, scales and everything, and then he's got his dangerous, dangerous um, uh, tail. You can see the details in there too. Let's get that to focus. 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 Okay, this is gonna have to do. But you can see all the scales on the body. It's a really phenomenal pop. Uh, you can see just like muscle and it's very shiny and it would be wicked cool if they could um, make a metallic version of the Xenomorph. But this is kind of looking already like a metallic figure, but I, I think it would be cool if they made it actual metallic. Um, 
You can see this, some detail on the back of his head. Um, my only one problem is his, is his head, actually. Um, I'm not sure if it's too short or it's too long. It might be too short. Um, I kind of wish it was more uh, longer and pointier because, you know, yeah. But this is just a really, really great pop. And uh, I don't think this is going to go on my main channel anytime soon. But um, just a really great pop. And uh, I definitely recommend this pop if you love aliens. Um, it's just, you can see all the details. And Funko really knocked it out of the park with this one. I'm starting to see a few paint flaws, but you're very you're distracted by it with all the details in the chest, the face, well not really the face, like the mouth area, the back, and it's just it's all around. Um, people can look at this and say, "Oh, that's alien," instead of looking at someone with casual clothes, if, uh, like outside of the box. Oh, that's um. Who is he? And yeah, so um, it's a very noticeable pop. I definitely recommend it um, to add to your collection. Um, now, I'm not sure if this is what it's supposed to do because it seems like the alien is standing up as it is, but the tail looks like it seems to be helping it stand up, and that kind of bugs me, but. I mean, I don't really know. Like, yeah. Weird. Anyway, so that's going to wrap up the review, guys. Thank you for watching. If, as always, if you want to see more, please click subscribe for Funko Pop reviews uh, and other Funko related items. Um, give it a thumbs up button. I'm going to hold them up. Give it a thumbs up button. Um, if you like this video, comment who's better, Alien or Predator? I, I don't know. Like, they're both great movies. Um, I can watch them over and over again. Uh, I really want to get the Blu-ray for Alien and Predator. Um, but here's the thing. The Alien sequels, all great. You know, except for Alien vs. Predator. But... Um, the Predator movies, the second one was good, um, the Predators, I mean, it was a good plot, I liked it, but the acting was so great, if, especially for the main character, who, it looks like, it sound like he was trying to go for a Dark Knight Batman, ironically, uh, a Chris... Tim Bale, Dark Knight, Batman, so, um, I don't know, I just didn't like that. Although I, I do need to watch the movie again, I need to watch all those movies again, I've seen Alien so recently, so, how much time am I really wasting? Alright, thank you guys for watching as always, see you in the next video, peace, thanks for watching.